All right, so I've got my second leg um, gluing up now, and now I'm gonna deal with these little side pieces. So these are the two ends of the board. Um, the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna start with the outside piece, this one with just the tabs on it. I'm gonna place it good side down the table, and then flip the other two pieces. So we're gonna get, see me? Flip the other two pieces just like this up this way. Now I'm gonna actually start, I'm gonna take this middle piece and put it here because I wanna see these holes when I put glue on. I don't wanna put glue on that bottom piece yet. Um, so here I'm gonna actually, it's in the right place now, I'm gonna flip it over because I'm gonna glue the underside first. So let me do that over again real quick, just so you can see. So I've got it this way. This is the outside, this is the inside with the tabs. I put the outside face down. I'm gonna take the top piece and just flip it over. And then I'm gonna take the middle piece and literally flip it. I noticed the middle piece because it has that flat edge on this side. I'm gonna flip it over and put it right down there. And then I'm just gonna add glue, trying to stay away from those holes best I can. And I'm gonna just put some dabs of glue on this side. Again, trying to stay away from the holes and minimize the amount of glue I'm putting on there. Maybe one dab in between all of them. Once I get that done, I'm gonna just flip it back over, position it right in the middle of the other one, and just line it up as perfectly as I can. That looks pretty good. Again, if it's not lined up, it is not gonna glue. If you see a bunch of glue coming into these openings and filling in these holes, take it apart, wipe a bunch of glue off, put it back together again. If you have glue in there, the tabs can't go in and you're gonna be really upset later trying to dig out hard um, glue. It's worth your time now to get that fixed. Okay, so that one's lined up pretty well. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put glue on the middle piece again, right here on the face. I'm just gonna again work it across. Put a few dabs of glue below. And then put this on. So learn from your mistakes. Like if you put too much glue on the last step, be sure to put a little bit less on, get familiar with kind of how it's supposed to go. That looks pretty good. Check the alignment of that other layer as well. Make sure it's still all lined up. I think it is. I don't see any glue pouring into the holes. So I think now I'm just gonna put it to the edge of the table and clamp it. I'm gonna clamp this first one over here to the side. So I'll do it right here. You don't have to see the second one. So just like before, I'm gonna push it in, push the top down and then lift the bottom up. That will keep it from sliding quite so much. Again, I'm checking for alignment. If it's not aligned, I'll stop and take it apart and do it over again. It still looks lined up. So I'm gonna put a clamp here at the end and then one right in the middle. And now all I have to do is just do that again with the other two pieces. And you're ready for the next step. Awesome, good job, hang in there. Okay, all of our pieces are glued up. The goal now is to take all of these and put them together into a class board. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. Normally I would tell you to do what's called a dry fit, which is to go through and just assemble the pieces with no glue and learn how they go together because you'll find is, there's a better way and a worse way. The problem with this is if you have to assemble it and disassemble it a couple times, you end up damaging the joints pretty badly. So I'm just gonna show you the best way to do it that I've already found out by doing it a couple times. So what we're gonna do is start with these two end pieces. And I'm gonna add glue in a very specific place. So the top side is the wider side. Put that up and there's a little narrow side. So here where it's wide, that's the top. Here's where it's narrow bottom. Put this towards you, this part away from you. And we're gonna add a little bit of glue to each of the holes closest to us in this row. And what that'll do is any glue that squeezes out will squeeze out underneath the clasp board and we won't be able to see it. We don't really care if that's ugly. And then if we put them in the top row of, just put a little bit of glue in there. We don't have to fill it up at all. We don't want to fill it up at all, in fact. Just putting a little bit of glue in each of the holes. 
I didn't put any in the starting hole or the ending hole, just a little bit of all those holes down below. What happens when the tab goes in there, it'll push that glue in there and squeeze it all around and out, and that'll provide us the glue joint that we need. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side as well. So I'm gonna just take some little bit of glue into all of those, and I'm squeezing very gently just to get the glue to barely flow out so I can see there's just a little bit of glue. If you put a lot of glue in that hole, you fill it up, it's gonna be really hard to get the tabs to go in because to get them to go in, you're gonna to have to squeeze all of that glue out of there. So a small amount of glue is better than a large amount of glue. Glue is really strong. Okay, then what we're gonna do is grab our bottom piece. So this is the playing platform. Make sure the holes are facing up. And then we're gonna just put these two end pieces on. And I'm just gonna line it up best I can and just start working it on there. When you get it, it'll fall in place. If you're whacking things, you're probably just not lined up, or maybe you didn't do a good job aligning your pieces when you glued them, and you might be in big trouble. So if you have to start whacking things a bunch, call me over, let me help you with it. It should slide on pretty easily, just like that. And I'm gonna do the other side as well. We wanna put the short sides on first, um, because the other sides slide into them. So, there, that one's in. I should be able to get on just with a little bit of wiggling and some pushing. This one's being a little bit harder. I'm just gonna put it here on the table. Some light tapping. Be sure not to tap it in a weird way that snaps stuff. This is not the point where you want broken things. <laughs> so now I've got the two end pieces on and I'm gonna do the same thing for um, the side pieces. I've got it where the, the tabs are away from me here. So I'm going to put it just in this bottom row of holes. I'm going to add glue. And again, I don't need a ton of glue. I just need enough to get in there a little bit. And at this point, I'm working kind of fast because I'm running against the clock now. Again, I'm not gonna put any glue in that top set of holes because I don't want any glue to squeeze out onto the playing surface and look crummy. I'm also gonna put a little bit of glue in that tiny little hole and that one here on the side. Just a little bit of glue in both of those. Set that aside for now. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Get some glue in all of these cavities. A little bit in the middle too. And go right down the way. Okay, next thing that I want to do is actually there's a there's two more up here. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue very carefully into that hole and into that one as well. And the same thing on this one. Here I wanna put a small amount of glue as I can. Cause that's on an inside edge. It's going to squeeze out if I'm not careful. Okay. So now it's just a matter of getting them on there. So I'm gonna take this side first. And this is one of the nice things about making everything the same symmetric is that either side fits on either side. So I don't have to worry about which side's which. I'm just gonna line up one corner on this side, get it lined up a little bit, and then just kind of fiddle with it until the rest of them sort of fall into place. Okay, Oop, there it goes. This will be a little harder to squeeze into place and that's okay. I'm just running my finger along this edge to clean up some of the excess glue I have there. And now while I have it like this, I'm gonna actually put this other piece in. So this is the cross brace for the bottom. Um, and what I'll do before I put it in, I'm gonna flip it to its front like this and add just tiny bits of glue into these holes. And the nice thing about this underside is I can always come back and add a little bit of hot glue in, on the edges of this because no one will see it. But I'm gonna get the wood glue in there first. This one's tricky. So if you see, I'll need to tip this outer leg out a little bit to kind of wedge this piece in there. 
there it goes. I'm gonna line all those pieces up all the way across. Then I'm gonna flip it on its side. And then I'm gonna try and put this leg on. And this one I won't be able to see as well, so let's see. Oop, there we go. Should line up pretty well. Again, we're trying not to smack it. Because what it means when you smack it is you're just probably not lining up well yet. There we go, just slid. Just slid nice and place. Nice corners lined up. There we go. Like a champ. Okay. So, so far so good. I'm just gonna clean out some of the glue that's here in these corners, if there is any. Now, clamping. So I've got six of these long clamps. I'm gonna take my first clamp and run it along this edge here. I'm doing it low because I wanna be clamping where the base is. I'm gonna put the clamp right out here at the edge, lining everything up and just give it a little squeeze. You can see a little bit of glue squeezed out there. That's a good sign. Just try and close that joint up a little bit. All right, next one, I'm gonna put at the far end. Again, I'm gonna keep it kind of low because I wanna be clamping on the board, not above. I don't wanna be squeezing up here. I wanna be squeezing down where the game board is. Now these, I'm gonna put a bunch in between. So I'm gonna put one right in the middle. And this time I'm gonna let it clack down like this. That'll give me a good spacing to the middle of the board and try and keep it like directly across the board so you're not pulling at a weird angle. And when I'm tightening them, I'm not putting tons of force. I'm watching the joints and as soon as they close up a little bit, I'm good. Yeah, just like that. And I might get one more clamp. So I want to clamp every inch or two. I'm going to want one more clamp. There I felt like I over clamped a little bit. So I just released the clamp by pulling this latch and gave it a little bit of pressure instead of a lot of pressure. I'm going to put one more clamp across there and then that's all done. That's going to now let us sit and wait and dry. Good job so far.